the three pieces are part of an ongoing series called Shapes and Lines. Abstract word, abstract title on purpose. Um, I've always been drawn to that quote by a German painter, Hans Hoffmann, who became much more famous in America. He emigrated to the States and became a very influential teacher, basically. Um, that quote is um, about that the um, to um, um, that the ability to simplify means to eliminate the unnecessary so that the necessary may speak. And that's always been something that I deeply felt and tried to um, transport in my work in a way. And um, you might be able to see when you look at all three of them that in a way, and you can also see color-wise, they belong together. Actually, they're more like one gigantic composition, not so much three single ones, although I've also wanted them to be able to stand by themselves because you normally don't get huge walls to really show something that big. And what I've also wanted was to, when you look at them from a distance, that you see the composition and are not taken away by anything else you see. But then when you walk close and look at the finishing, so to speak, the, all these tiny little lines, all these, I call it an ocean of stitches that are on, that they are immersed in, that then you have this secondary graphic design or whatever you may call it that speaks a different language where you get into de can get into detail. Um, when I construct my shapes, it's basically a dance with my fingertips on paper sort of um, subdividing a um, certain plane into only shapes, not really looking for foreground and background, but looking for the beauty of the shapes. And that kind of each shape really um, becomes perfect in a way that it doesn't uh, take away. It's not like putting shapes on a background and then see what happens in the background. It's more than putting all these shapes together and then decide what is foreground and what is background. And that's why I make these little value studies at a certain point. Because once I start cutting into my huge pieces of hand-dyed fabric, and by that also really trying to find the exact right piece, one that slightly changes color, looks painterly, looks like a watercolor almost, then, uh, well, not only that you must not uh, spoil it, <laughs> because there's only one piece there that really has that transition, but also um, to, to, yeah, well, it's, it's in a way, it's planned out and it's improvisational. It's both worlds. It's the best of both both worlds. And then the other thing I have to say that the challenge of the large pieces, you know, I, I said about dancing with your fingertips on the plane. And then later, although I'm not dancing anymore with problems <laughs> with my knees and everything, but going to the limits of my body when the shapes then are finely cut which is also something that, so there's much more movement in these than there is in my body these <laughs> days. <laughs> okay, and I really, I mean, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of hours that I spend quilting and we keep repeating ourselves with talking about it's meditative. It is, to me it is. And I'm always 
no, well, let's say with all the hours that are in there and, and me seeing every little square inch of my fabric of my whole composition again, it becomes like I'm, you know, you make this and you're distanced to it for a while, then you gain it back. You gain back the very personal relationship to the piece and it seems like then after about a hundred hours I can let go. <laughs> it, it really feels like that. Unless the package takes too long to arrive, then you get nervous. <laughs> Um, and actually, let's say the more beautiful or interesting the shape is, the more beautiful and interesting the quilting becomes because it's basically inherent to the shape. It's sort of an echo of the shape where I go from the outside to the inside and it finds its own center point and, and then I go back around to the outside again that fills in, you know, they're no, in the beginning they're twice as wide and then, but I really think it needs that extra line in between to, to get it done the way I want it done. So that's basically what I have to say about my work.